Hi, Scott Bingham here at 2409 South Drive. This is an exciting four bedroom, two bath foreclosure opportunity in the Mossy Oak School District. As a matter of fact, you're only about a block from Mossy Oaks Elementary and Buford Middle School. Absolutely walking distance. You'll see what I mean in just a minute. I'll show you a pan of the lot. But this is a four bedroom, two bath brick. In the original part of the house, there's the original hardwood floors from, uh, I think, 1959. There is a, an addition on the back with a huge master bedroom and a master bath and then an office or, gosh, even a fifth bedroom. There's no closet, but um, you can use it for whatever you want. Okay, let me show you the lot and then I'm going to show you the house. Just taking a quick pan around the lot. You see how the house is laid out. There's dual fences over there for boats, trailers, whatever. Then that wooded area across the street, that's actually the back of Buford Middle School. Um, and of course, across the street from it is Mossy Oaks Elementary. Um, right down that street there, which is Center Drive East, uh, is the intersection with Mossy Oaks Road. And um, that's, of course, how you get to school. Back on this lot, you can tell the house is sort of catty corner on this corner lot fenced yard, um, and we're back to the house. Okay. Moving inside, we're standing right here at the front door. As you pan around the living area, uh, you can see the front windows, and then a dining area where they tried building in some bent seats. You probably want to revisit that. Um, then there's the kitchen through that doorway. There's actually a coat closet over here. On the floor are these original hardwood floors, like I mentioned before. Um, they do need refinishing, but there aren't any deep gouges or scratches that I've seen. No reason they shouldn't look absolutely beautiful once they're refinished. The kitchen has been renovated since the house was built, obviously. These are newer cabinets and a newer countertop. The stove and refrigerator are gone. You still have the microwave. Um, there, there's a water hookup for the refrigerator, a sheet vinyl floor in the kitchen. All this you would probably want to renovate before you moved in. This is the master bedroom that has been added on. I'm going to do a quick pan and lower. That's the entrance to the dining area and living area. Those closets right in front of us stretch across the entire wall. It looks to be about one and a half times deeper than a standard closet. There might actually be more usable room than you get in a lot of um, walk-in closets in homes this size. The windows throughout have been replaced with an aluminum thermopane. They could be, I don't know what the age on those is. Um, I'll leave it to an expert to determine that age. Some of them are smoked, but, and one's broken out. Again, still in the master bedroom and bath. The bath is right through that door showing you the closets and then the entrance to um, the master bedroom. Across that, that uh, hall is an office or fifth room, den, whatever. And there is also a exit door just to the left outside. Okay, uh, backyard, you can see the shed, the playground. Um, there's a new gas furnace right next to the camera that you can't see. At any rate, there's a lot you can't see. So go to the web address at the bottom of the screen. There's more pictures and more information there. Or better yet, call me, Scott Bingham, 843-321-9867. That's 843-321-9867. Remember, 2409 South Drive.